halftime show, but Joseph says that's where we are when it comes to the heat wave, and now we go into the second half, huh? We are, yeah. We definitely need that water break. We need that every afternoon because it's just so hot out there, but we are likely going to see probably four more days. We usually define a heat wave here in the Pacific Northwest as three days at 90 degrees and above. Well, we're going to be way beyond that. Today, we hit our fourth day. Tomorrow, the fifth. So we are just halfway through what I am anticipating as an eight-day heat wave for us here where we started on Sunday and we will wrap it up on Sunday. So we're just about halfway through after today. Now, I think you could expect at least a few more days where we're hitting the triple digits in the afternoon, definitely on Friday and I believe on Saturday as well. We'll watch tomorrow. It's possible, but I think we'll probably stay in the upper 90s, which is just as tough to battle, right? So we will have some very warm air coming up. Okay, likely breaking that heat on Monday, meaning we will take those 90s, We'll throw them out the window and we'll bring in some cooler air as we keep those windows open. Here's something that's interesting. Today is the third day where we've hit 95 degrees or above. The record is six, 1941 and 1981. We've had a couple where we hit five days. By the time we wrap this up, I think between Thursday, Friday and Saturday, we may also hit six. The average per year is 2.3. That's going all the way back to 1941. Okay, temperature trend here in Portland. Temperature is going to be warming on up, upper 90s tomorrow. Looks like we'll probably be right around 102 again on Friday. That's what we had on Tuesday. 100 degrees there on Saturday, 93 on Sunday. And then there we go. We break that heat. We're down to the lower 80s on Monday and hopefully even the upper 70s on Tuesday because we deserve maybe a day that's below average as well, right? Well, as far as records go tomorrow, that record is 106. That goes for Friday, too. I don't think we're going to get there. It's going to be warm, but I don't believe we're going to break uh, 100 degrees. And if we do, it's probably going to be on the lower end. We'll probably get close there on Friday, 102, 103. And then on Saturday, the record's 107 in 1965. That used to be our all-time record here in Portland before we had the heat dome, where we really brought up that temperature. Okay, here's the summer heat count so far. This year we had at least one day where we hit 100 degrees. That was Tuesday. That was our first triple digit day of the year. Last year we had three. That was the heat dome. We have one more 90 degree day so far. This is again going back to June 1st to today's date. We had way more 80 degree days last year, but we had more 70 degree days this year. So we've had a little bit of everything so far this summer. And we had a little bit of everything last summer, right? Okay, 98 degrees for the high tomorrow in Portland. Upper 90s to lower triple digits. Maybe a few locations there in the mid-90s for tomorrow. You can see the forecast zones back to the 60s with some clouds for the coast. Here in the PDX metro area in the Central Valley, those temperatures in the upper 90s. Western Gorge, think about Troutdale, those type of locations there entering the gorge. Mid-90s to upper 90s, the Hood River area there. Temperatures about triple digits. The Dells, I'm sorry to say, I think again, you're probably going to be approaching about 110 degrees, maybe a little bit warmer than that. Madras triple digits, Pendleton the same. Again, it's going to be warm quick. Let's try to stay cool and uh, find a way to get all the water in you. Okay, high pressure right over the top of us. We keep it going through the weekend before it cuts off by Sunday. 100 degrees there on Saturday, Sunday at 93 when we wrap up this heat wave. 83 on Monday with a few clouds. There's a relief there on Tuesday, hopefully continuing into Wednesday. If you really focus your attention, you'll see a little bit of confetti flying over those days because that means <laughs> we're finally cooling down, Liz. Yeah, you'll be throwing that party. <laughs> I will be. Joseph, thank you. Sure. Still to come.